So, um, I'm sure you all are asking yourselves why I'm making a video from a bathtub wearing an I am smiling eagle t-shirt, which, by the way, uh, this is my eagle shirt, that, my sweatshirt that I bought in Alaska after meeting the eagles. And it's also my favorite sweatshirt. And I'm wearing it for you in the top. I hope that everyone appreciates that. I'm just putting that out there. Just putting these out here. I'm putting all this out here. Um, so why am I in the bathtub? Well, this is an interesting what? question. Um, <laughs> as, as we have, I have come to find that I actually have a crippling fear of doing YouTube. Um, which is weird to admit as someone that had a YouTube channel, but it was different when someone else was doing it for me. Like, it was different when someone else had the plan and, like, someone else had the direction and someone else was like, this is the kind of thing that we're going to go with, this is how it's going to be edited, all of that. Um, because I kind of got to tune it out and just let them make the decisions, which, you know, wasn't a good idea, uh, because I fundamentally didn't feel like I had, like, much say in it. but. At the same time, I also didn't realize how horrible, like, my fear of doing YouTube was. And it's not that I'm afraid of talking. Like, I don't know if everyone knows this, but I'm a public speaker, so I talk in front of people, like, huge crowds of people. So it's not the talking aspect that scares me. It's the YouTube aspect that scares me. Because, I don't know about everyone else, but when I started watching YouTube, which this is horribly embarrassing to admit, but I'm going to, um, I started watching YouTube because I was into the science videos. <laughs> So, like, I would binge watch, uh, like, Minute Physics and, like, Vi Hart. I don't know if anyone knows who Vi Hart is, but she's so fucking cool. She's, like, this pianist, 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 um, pianist mathematician that does these videos on mathematical equations, but also, like, does piano. Solid content, guys. Solid A++ content. Um... But anyway, I started watching stupid shit like that, and like the Vlog Brothers, and like, you know, weird stuff. But I did it because it made me feel like I was actually a part of something. Like, YouTube made me feel like I was led into these people's worlds, and into these people's lives. And like, I was a part of all the crazy, fucked up, messy, like, humanness of their lives. Like, I got to go along with them, and like, laugh with them, and you know, and like, I felt like they like appreciated me. And like, it's a weird, stupid, like, subconscious, subliminal thing, YouTube. The reason YouTube's successful isn't necessarily because like, people are always making great content. YouTube's successful because we are fundamentally pack animals. And being able to feel like we're a part of someone's world makes us feel like we're more alive. But what I've noticed is like, as the YouTube quality has gone up, the actual, like, like, as the quality of videos, you know, like, the way things are recorded, the way things are, like, scheduled out, like, everyone has an intro. Like, everyone has an intro. Like, even people that you're like, there's no way that this fucking person has an intro, they have a goddamn intro, and it's, like, overly dramatic. Um, and, and it's like everyone's taking their YouTube very seriously, which is awesome. I... I want to say before I like, because I'm not shitting on these people, I'm not shit talking them. I am majorly impressed with people that can go on YouTube and be like, "Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about buttholes." Like, I'm so impressed with people that can just go on and like smoothly transition and then be like, "And this is the contour that I use." Now, guys, I don't want you to like, I'm like, wow, I don't know how. It's like it's it's like it's a machine. It's brilliant. It's wonderful. I am very impressed with people like that. But that's not me, and I can't do it, and I can't act like a salesperson. And I think the thing that's beautiful about YouTube is the fact that it's people that actually get to talk about their lives and like let other people into their worlds and stuff. So I'm making a video for the bathtub partially because I need to feel comfortable, and there's nothing more comfortable than a fucking bathtub. My vagina's out, and like I'm warm, and I'm not wearing pants, and you know I get to wear my glasses and my sweatshirt and like drink my weird electrolytes that I need because I just had a horrible fever, you know. So like. <laughs> I'm comfortable here. Uh, and the second reason is because, I don't know, I feel like it's a good way to do YouTube again. Like, you won't be let into my world, here's my world, like this is my bathtub, welcome in. This is, you know, we're gonna spend quality time together. Uh, I'm gonna call this series Tub Talks and we're gonna talk about weird things. We're gonna talk about life, we're gonna talk about politics and science and stupid stuff and funny stuff and like drama and whatever the hell we wanna talk about. 
Uh, and, you know, and then there'll be the occasional sprinkling of like life and death, you know, because that happens to me a lot. <laughs> I nearly died again last month, which was a really weird experience because I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> Which I think you're never expecting to die, but like I wasn't expecting to get so sick so fast. Like I literally stood up to go pee and on the way to the toilet started desatting, which means your oxygen levels plummet. Um, and I thank God I had like a monitor at home so I like put it on and realized I was desatting and like ran to my BiPAP machine, which is like this, it's kind of like a ventilator. Um, and I put that on and then we had to call 911. Uh, and then my house was filled with like these incredibly wonderful they were wonderful at their job like huge men they carried me out of the apartment it was a very weird experience um we'll leave it at that, at that. i'll have a whole video about that experience because it was very fun and interesting um but anyway so i nearly died again like i you know as one does and it was weird because i realized like there's so many there's, I, and i this is gonna sound corny and like Fuck it, whatever, it's gonna sound corny. But there's so many things that I do want to share with people about my experience of life. Because, and not because I'm trying to, to preach or to shove anything down anyone's throats, but because I think that it's really important for everyone to realize that there are vastly different experiences of life. And yet, in those vastly different experiences of life, there is a continual kind of truth that we all are feeling. Like, there's a continual just aspect of being alive that we're all feeling and that it doesn't matter if you're you know as sick as I am and nearly died last month and are sitting pantsless in a bathtub or if you kind of seemingly have your life together you're still feeling that same just weird messy gross uncomfortable feeling of being alive you know and I think that's hugely important to share and I don't want to let the fact that I'm terrified of YouTube and YouTubers and the whole YouTube culture to not let me talk about that kind of stuff. So bathtub it is because bathtub's a neutral place. Uh, and yeah, that's all I'm saying about that matter. Uh, so, so yeah, anyway, these are called tub talks. I'm gonna try and make one every week. I'm gonna try and just like put my blinders on and like not focus on the fact that I'm terrified of making YouTube videos and just do it anyway. Cause that's kind of what I do with my health. Like I kind of, pretend that I'm not sick. For all the people out there that's like, how are you so happy? It's really, really simple. I just pretend I'm not sick. Like, I literally just don't go there. Like, I forget my oxygen at bookstores and, like, coffee shops. Like, I'll set it down, take it off, and forget to get my oxygen again because I've completely cut off the fact that I'm sick. Like, I don't, re it doesn't register. And it does eventually. Like, it always has to come and hit you again. Like, like when I was dying, then it was like, oh right, oh, I'm terminal. Um, but like it was, it's not like an everyday reality that I live with, um, in the sense that like I'm not always cycling through like I'm sick. This is how I'm sick. This is how sick I am. This is how sick I'm getting. Remember when I used to not be this sick? Like it doesn't work that way. And I think that's kind of what I have to do with YouTube is I just kind of have to pretend like I'm not freaked out and I just have to do it. And so here we are. We're doing it. Anyway. Um, I hope this was a good video. <laughs> I don't know how to start videos or end videos. It's a really big problem. Like, it's so horribly uncomfortable for me. Do I just say goodbye? Goodbye. I'll see you soon. Stands up. <laughs> Flashes everyone. <laughs> no, not yet.